in an attic, if you're going to dense pack above your exterior top plates, because that's, remember, a critical spot where you only have about four inches between your roof deck and those exterior top plates. You want to have maximum insulation. Well, how do you do that and still have a vent? Well, we're using a R4 type of polystyrene vent that we made. We cut it about 10 inches wide and then we have two inch sides to it. Used uh, a type of aluminum tape to make a real nice three sides to a box. It's 48 inches long, the width of the four by eight sheet that we made it out of. And that gets installed in as many bays as you want. The important thing about that is when you pack your cellulose in there on each side, you're not going to crush that baffle. If you crush that baffle, then uh, you don't have any venting if that's something you desire in that spot. So again, the vents, the baffles we find at the big box hardware stores, they're all going to collapse. They're really made for fiberglass bats, which is a very inferior product to put, especially where you're going to have wind coming in your soffit boxes. You don't want that howling laterally through your fiberglass bats.